So silk presses are all the hype right now. So I decided that I was going to finesse me a silk press look on this wig. So this wig was sent to me by my first wig. They hit me up like, do you want to collab? And I was like, of course I want to collab so i will put all the details about this wig and everything you need to know down below as well as in the side of this video so i'm gonna speed through this application process because i've done it a hundred times before and i'm sure you've seen it done a hundred times more on other channels as well so first and foremost i'm just gonna start with a little ball cap method just because i feel like it gives the wig a more seamless and flawless finish and to me, it also helps the hairline as well as the scalp look more realistic. And of course, you always wanna finish your ball cap method with adding a little bit of foundation to the cap so that it gives more of that scalp effect. But I want y'all to get into this wig, okay? It was pre-plugged and pre-bleached, so I didn't have to do any prep work to this wig. Like it already came ready to go out of the box. And I love that for me and I love that for y'all. So in terms of the application process, I opted to use an adhesive spray versus a glue, just because the spray is much easier to work with. It's quicker, it's quicker drying time, and it's just less messy. The downside to using spray is that sometimes you can get a white cast and it can also like appear shiny underneath the lace. With the glue, usually you have less shine and you also have like less of a white cast. But I will say that I feel like the spray is more so for short term use and the glue is for long term use. So you kind of have to weigh the pros and the cons and figure out yourself like how long are you going to wear this wig. Me, I like to take my wig off every night. I'm not going to go to sleep with it on. So nine times out of ten, I'm going to choose a spray over a glue. But if I'm really trying to get that super secure, long lasting hold, then I am going to opt to use glue over the spray. So the last and final pieces of the mill down process that I never skip is I always go back in with a little bit more glue or a spray in the areas that may be lifted up while I was cutting off that excess lace. Then I always, always top it off with a little bit of styling foam or setting foam. And I just put this right around the hairline. It helps take care of some of that white cast that you may see. It helps milk that makeup and everything that you did to help it look more realistic kind of set into place. And then of course you always wanna top it off by tying it down with an elastic band so it really kind of mushes and sets into the skin. Now let's get into the tips to have this looking like a fresh silk press. First things first, add a little dry shampoo on that thing. I'm just going to tell y'all, don't knock it until you try it. It will give your wig that extra body. Then next, it is all in the flick of the wrist. You have to add a little bump to the ends and give it a little umph so that not only does your hair have body, but it's bumped at the ends and it has a little curl you got to remember the goal is to be giving fresh silk press on natural hair and not fresh sewing you know what i'm saying with that velvet remy so keep that in mind so of course the hairline is looking a little ashy that's to be expected because once again we use the adhesive spray but all you have to do is touch that up with a little bit of that styling foam and that ashiness and white cast goes right away as you can see in the video and let me be very clear about the texture of this wig i can lay some hair down and i do consider myself very talented but the texture of this wig is everything it did most of the work for me the texture is their yakky texture and it looks so natural. It is one of the most natural textures that I have ever worked with. It doesn't have too much sheen or shine. And to me, it looks just like how my hair looks when it is flat ironed. And so, of course, I like to show a little bit of versatility, which is why I showed y'all the middle part as well as the side part. But I absolutely adored this wig. 
and mainly for the texture because it is just so bomb. So just a recap on the tips. Don't forget, try a little dry shampoo. It's all in the flick of the wrist. And of course, thank you for watching and until next time.